One of Britain's best-known entertainers, Des O'Connor, has died at the age of 88. The comedian, singer and TV star died yesterday in hospital after a fall at his home in Buckinghamshire. During a career that spanned almost 70 years, he was known for hosting primetime shows and for his friendship with the comedy duo Morecambe & Wise. Here's our arts correspondent David Sillito, who looks back now at his life. I've kept a list of the insults oh, yes. against Des O'Connor. Des O'Connor was in the 70s famous, a star, and on Morecambe & Wise, the butt of hundreds of gags. But the singer and comedian took it all with good grace. Number one, Eric, I've just heard some good news. Ernie, what good news? Eric, Des O'Connor's got a sore throat. <laughs> Nothing seemed to dent that clean-cut, deep-tanned optimism. Number two, Ernie, Des O'Connor is a self-made man. Eric, I think it's very nice of him to take the blame. <laughs> Be sure it's true when you say, I love you, love you, love you. His interest in show business had started in the RAF. He'd been a Butlin's red coat and learnt his craft struggling to get laughs in theatres such as The Windmill, with an audience that had come for the naked flesh more than the comedy. And this fellow was always in, every day, in the front row. And on about the third house of the fourth day, I forgot, I dried. Just couldn't remember what was next, and this fellow said, You tell the one about the parrot next. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Alone you'll always find By the 60s, he had star billing. He made more than a thousand appearances at the Palladium and recorded 36 albums. The son of a dustman from London's East End, he'd gone from a childhood blighted by rickets to TV stardom. But he was never going to be one of the cool gang. A little old lady came up to me one day at the stage door. She said, Mr O'Connor, I have enjoyed your show. She said, um, here's five pounds. Could you, could you send me your new LP? So I said, well, you can get it for three pounds in the shop, but you don't have to give me five. She said, well, no, because the last time I went into the shop and asked for a Des O'Connor LP, the guy said, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> As the decades rolled by, he remained an almost ageless fixture in the schedules. He married four times. His fifth child arrived when he was 80. Let's just he was never really fashionable and so never fell out of fashion. Am I? Or am I not? It was a career of 60 years of professional, unflappable, good-natured charm. You have my word. Well, that's good enough for me. And when the joke was on him, he was always the first to laugh. <laughs> Des O'Connor, who's died at the age of 88. One of our best-known entertainers, Des O'Connor, has died at the age of 88. The star of stage and television presented primetime shows for more than 45 years. He was admitted to hospital just over a week ago following a fall at his home and died in his sleep yesterday. Geraint Vincent looked back at his life and career. Of course, there was never any doubt he could definitely sing. Anytime. But with Des O'Connor, the laugh was never far away. <laughs> the son of a dustman and a cleaning lady from London's East End, his name was up in lights on Britain's TV screens for decades. Good evening. Good evening. Evening. He had an easy way with an audience and his song sold. He recorded 30 albums and had four top ten hits. His good nature meant that he was always a popular guest on other people's shows. Oh, that is the best record Des has ever made. You mean there's nothing on it at all? <laughs> Will you say hello to those girls, the Spice Girls? Later in his career, there were talk shows. It's a it's a and then daytime television. His was a life in light entertainment. I have not done a day's work in my life. It's not since I came into show business. It's just, it's just fun. If it became work, I don't know whether I love it as much, but I do, I love it. O'Connor was married four times, and he leaves Jodie Brooke Wilson, who gave birth to their son, when he was in his 70s. Jody said to, to, the, to the guy, Bill, that's his name, Bill, she said he's, he's never been to a scan before, meaning me, and I said to him, they weren't invented. <laughs> I'll never forgive myself. 
in 70 years in show business, Des always wanted to make sure the audience had fun. I'll never forgive myself for letting you put me down the way you do. Oh. Des O'Connor, who died yesterday.